Hello everyone, Darius coming on. Today I want to talk about being consistent in prayer. So, um, one of my last video, I talked about um, how to start developing a consistent prayer life and how to start that off. Now I want to talk about how to remain consistent in that. And I got four tips for you today. So the first one, very practical, start setting alarms. When, when on your hour by hour schedule or on your schedule that you have scheduled in for you to pray on specific days, uh, set your alarm for that time. It's treated it just like it's a, a, an appointment, that you're having an appointment with God, the King of Kings. Treat it as uh, you're trying to show up on time for work. So it's, it's like uh, you have alarms, practical alarms to help you, to remind you to be on time uh, for that prayer. Um, step number two, make it a culture just making it a culture, whether it's a, if you're married, make it a culture in your house. Um, if your spouse is going to be up around the same time or in, you normally interact with you during the same time that you pray, uh, that you set your prayer time, then let it be known as a culture that, hey, this is this time. Um, I'm going to set this as my time of God. Um, just so you know that for X, Y, and Z amount of time, I'm going to be spending time with God and just let that be known. Um, so it, it's a culture and even they can even help you be accountable with that. Um, step number three, find people who can pray with you. So find a prayer partner. Um, for example, my wife and I, uh, every morning as we're, as we're taking our son to school, we're praying uh, together. We're praying over our marriage. We're praying over one another. We're praying over our children. So we're praying um, together. So she's like my prayer partner. Um, so you can find a prayer. You don't have to be married to have a prayer partner. Uh, it could be your friend. Uh, it could be a prayer partner. It could be a, a maybe a leader in the church that may be your accountability partner. They can walk with you and be a prayer partner. Someone can just someone can hold you accountable to you praying. And when you have a prayer partner, it works best if you guys even have a planned time where you're gonna to come together and pray. That way there is that accountability piece together. And the last step is uh, you can uh, post sticky notes reminders, maybe around your house, um, in your bathroom, on your mirror, in your car, on your desk at work. Um, just to remind you to pray, just something that could trigger um, that reminder for you to pray, whether it's a, uh, uh, um, what is it, a uh, prayer topic on, on, uh, on a sticky note or whatever, make a screensaver on your phone to pray, you know, and I'll be creating a resource for that for you guys to, to have a, a, a prayer reminder as a screensaver on your phone. So this is some of those things that can just help you stay consistent. Um, so I love you guys and I hope to see you next time.